my friends, my countrymen. I finally, um, I have come up with a drink using Strega that I really like. I'm going to show it to you now. It's called the Witch's Gingerbread House. Get my shit together. Soup. Uh, I finally got rid of the processed orange juice that we had. I didn't bring a knife. I finally got rid of the processed orange juice that we had and just bought a bag of oranges. They fit very poorly in the elbow squeezer. But whatever gets you through the night. And also like they just, yeah, because they fit poorly, they end up getting a lot of juice everywhere. No one's been eyeballed yet. It's bound to happen. Anyway, this drink calls for orange juice. Two ounces if you're using anything processed, otherwise just squeeze a whole orange. Oh, I didn't bring the, the bar is actually set up terribly because I was going to make, uh, I was, and you know, look forward to this. I'm going to make a drink called the Juan Ho Royale and I'm going to make my own variation on it. We were hanging out the other night just looking for drinks that we could make and uh, what we did that I forgot we did, the one Julio calls for champagne and we substituted either club soda or ginger beer. I think we tried both. But it was it was late in the night. It was many drinks in. And it was fantastic. And I had this deal like, oh, I'll make it for the channel. And I have an idea for a variation. And then I got all my, I got my orjat and my falernum together. And then found out I don't have any carbonated liquids of any kind. I, I don't have club soda. I don't have ginger beer. And I don't have champagne. So, let me put some ice in this shaker, just because. Uh, it calls for Strega. Strega is the star of the cocktail. Finally, going through the Strega. And I'll tell you now that uh, in the photo you're going to see as the thumbnail. Because I am remembering to do that sort of thing now. It's going to be garnished because I already made one. Uh, when I made my test one, I garnished it. And uh, I even made one uh, for another friend the other night. But I'm not going to bother to garnish this one because I'm home alone. You throw in an ounce of Strega, you throw in an ounce of Irish Mist, which is a honey whiskey and is delicious and useful. Then, back to the kitchen, you need allspice dram. Our allspice dram is pretty thick and that's totally fine. I like to throw in, you know, just what looks and feels like a quarter of an ounce. Just, just barely any, really, because it's, it's strong. And, very syrupy, and this is why you have to shake this drink. Uh, and in that same uh, jigger, I'm going to throw in about a quarter ounce of falernum as well. And I'm going to give her a shake. In a martini glass, uh, because I have it here, otherwise I typically do this in a margarita glass, actually. And uh, I garnished it with 
pineapple fronds and maraschino cherries. I think that even in the hut, I think that that actually looks pretty good. You get a sense it's very it's bright orange. Um, to the nose, you 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 instantly tell that um, there's a lot going on there with uh, spices. Um, my friend who had it said it was a Christmas drink because if you if you put allspice dram and oranges together with the ginger that's in the phalarum and all, and the honey whiskey, and then all, and like the, the saffron and the fennel in the straga, it just winds up being kind of like a, kind of like a cloved fruit type deal. It, it feels very Christmassy, and that's why I called it the Witch's Gingerbread House. Mm. Straga is still the star. You get the taste of straga in there but it's, it's supported so heartily by honey, cinnamon, allspice, ginger, uh, almonds, which is also in flannel. So, yeah, there you have it. I'm proud to say this white whale has been caught. There's a great Straga cocktail in, and it's been explained on the channel before, but Straga is Italian for witch, so any cocktail with it typically has witch in the name. And uh, this is a witch's gingerbread house. Alright, peace. Give it a shot. If you find a bottle of Straga, which maybe you never will, give this recipe a rip. Let me know. Peace.